Hey folks, today I'm going to teach you how to tame the finder window on your Mac so that it looks exactly the way you want it to every time you use it. Coming up next on Tech Talk America. Hey folks, and welcome to the class. Today we're going to go over how to customize your Mac's finder window so that it perfectly suits your viewing preferences. Let's start by going over a few simple shortcuts. When you open a new finder window, you'll see four different types of viewing options here at the top. But I'll bet you probably didn't know that if you press the command key and numbers one, two, three, or four on your keyboard, that will instantly change that window to reflect that viewing style. For example, Command-1 will place your Finder window into Icon View, Command-2 switches it over to List View, Command-3 is for Column View, and Command-4 is for the brand new Gallery View. So now that you know those four commands, let's go over one more. Command-J will open up the Viewing Preferences. Now please note, the options that you see in this menu are going to change based on which viewing mode you're currently using. And there's a couple of things in this list that I'd like to highlight. Checking this box at the top will make sure that the window that you currently have open will always load with that viewing preference. Now, I don't know about you guys, but for me, I tend to like to have the Applications folder and the Home folder open up in Icon View. Then virtually everything else, I just put in List Mode. Now, if you're the kind of person out there who has one type of view that you just want to use across the board, across the entire Mac, you will find that as an option down here at the bottom of this list. At this point, I'd like to show you what is probably the best trick in this video, which is especially helpful for dealing with folders that tend to accumulate large files. I think personally this is perfect for the Downloads folder, the Movies folder, and any kind of cloud storage you use, whether that's Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive, iCloud Drive, the other drive that I'm forgetting, there's a lot of them, you get the idea. What I would recommend you do is set each of those locations into List View but there's one extra preference that you might want to consider enabling. All right, so here's the deal. If you've ever gone through any of these locations and attempted to clean out the junk, I'm sure you've probably noticed that when you go to organize everything by file size, it does not calculate the totals for any of the folders. That is, unless you check this option down here at the bottom. Just to demonstrate. So before adding this option, if I organize my downloads folder by file size, you'll notice it does not calculate the totals for any subfolders. But when I enable that feature, suddenly it becomes incredibly clear where my junk situation actually resides. Huh, why is the tax folder so big? Now, I have to tell you, as much as I enjoy the list view, like many of you, my vision isn't quite what it used to be. And so, to make things a little bit better for those of us who are mildly visually challenged, you can increase the text size by clicking right here. Of course, the other part of your Max Finder window is the sidebar, and I've got a bunch of tricks for that, but I'm saving that for next week's video, so be sure to stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If this video helped you, you can really help me out by simply hitting that thumbs up like button. Leave me a little comment down below. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And now also my podcast. Thank you for watching everyone. This is David A. Cox with Tech Talk America. Class dismissed.